This is my bike. Yes, there are many like this one, but this one is mine. Time to go for a ride. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel, One Down, Four Up. I'm gonna go for a ride. Gotta get some gas first. Always starting out at the gas station. Ooh. Got my little man purse holding my bottle water there. It's 89 degrees out right now, beautiful weather. Like I said, I got 50% chance of monsoon storms. We've been having some really bad storms lately. I was gonna take you by and show you some of the damage we've had in the last week. Got a lot of warning, flood warnings out already. You can see the, the storm clouds uh, starting to come in. They said in the afternoon, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning now. I got all my work done. Nothing else to do. Kids don't get home from school till 4.30. Or well, actually 4.15. So I got a lot of time on my hands. Go out and have some fun. Go give me a couple hours of riding out today. But first, got to give me some go-go juice. I need to give me a cell phone holder. I carry it in my pocket, always smash it up against my gas tank. Go get some gas. that movie Mad Max the new Mad Max Road Warrior Fury Road I think it was called I thought I thought the first Mad Max was better this one was more about a woman than the actual Road Warrior that's why I don't go to movies anymore because they hype them up and then you go spend all that money and they end up being boring or duds can't believe the hypes, people. Can't believe the hypes. Woo. So, uh, gonna get some riding in before the monsoon rains come later on today. Younger generation, man. I've been watching uh, a lot of motor vlog videos, and uh, most of the most of the people, motor vloggers that are subscribed to my motor vlogging channel, are between the ages of 18 and 25. That's what my analytics say. And uh, the younger generation, to, uh, the younger generation, the younger generation today. I don't know what it is, but not just for. Uh, motor vloggers or older people they just I mean they've lost respect for the older generation uh, that's what I know I'm not saying all of them have I'm just saying there's quite a few of them out there that are pretty cocky got egos and think they know everything and uh, I, I understand what it's like to be look at that cop he's hauling ass and on the cell phone I know what it's like to be young I was young once but I was never ever disrespectful to people that were older than me and uh, basically they don't uh, like to take advice from older people nowadays that I'm noticing I mean they think they know everything and uh, not just people in the motorbiking and motorcycle community but younger people that I've been meeting lately I've noticed that I mean I raised my son and daughter to be very respectful Otherwise, they're going to get the backs out of my hand. No, I'm just kidding. I never hit my kids. 
No, but I, uh, I teach you to be very respectful, respect your elders, because uh, we put in the time and we deserve the respect. We got a lot more life experiences under our belt than you do. And uh, that's just not for motorblogging and riding motorcycles, that's in life in general. I wonder where that cop was going so fast. We got a cop that likes to hide up here, so I gotta watch my speed limit through here. No, he's not there. Very, 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 very strange. I'm out riding today even though we got 50% chance of monsoon storms. I've had uh, younger motorcycle uh, riders tell me that you're not a real motorcycle rider if you don't ride in the rain or in the cold weather. And I just, I laugh at those comments. Uh, because it, these comments are coming from uh, motorcycle riders or vloggers who have six months or a year riding experience under their belt. And they're telling me because I say in my motor vlogs or I say in comments that I don't ride in cold weather, I don't ride in the rain, and I don't like to ride on the freeway. And not because I'm scared or, or inexperienced, it's because I choose not to because I've been riding for over 41 years. I'm 51, I've been riding since I was 10 years old. I've ridden every kind of bike just about out there, motocross, street, sports, crotch rockets, cruisers, Harleys. I've ridden them all, so I got many, 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 many years experience under my belt of riding multiple different kinds, on-road, off-road uh, types of motorcycles. So if I choose not to ride in the rain, it's not because I'm scared or inexperienced because I just don't like riding in the rain and I don't ride for commute, I ride for enjoyment and riding in the rain is not enjoyment. Riding in the snow or in the freezing cold is not enjoyment either. Like I said, I don't have to get on my bike and commute back and forth to work. I do it for fun and fun only. And these comments are coming from people who have, like I said, six months to a year riding experience. They've only ridden one bike that they've ever ridden in their life, ridden probably a 300 Ninja, something like that. And uh, they commute back and forth to work. And some of them say they live like three or four miles from their work. And they're saying that, you know, they think they all that they got all this riding experience and you know they still got a snotty runny little nose you know so uh that cracks me up whenever i get comments like that from these inexperienced motorcycle riders but uh right here we had the monsoon storms and uh i'm going to show you some of the damage that's been going on started from right here we had the monsoons going uh snap these telephone poles in half. I got this guy riding on my ass. I'm pulling over and he still won't go by me. Yeah, knocked down six telephone poles and landed on top of uh, six cars in a school bus. I just want to turn around and show you this telephone pole. This is just one of the many telephone poles that snapped because uh, 80 mile per hour winds we were getting. There you have it. Look at that telephone pole. Snapped it in half. That's just one of the many that snapped. And then uh, fell on top of a... Uh, guy's riding with no hands. He's got his hands behind his, his head. <laughs> That's funny. He must have... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cruise control. Yeah, look at that. That one snapped, man. I'll go show you some more. Here. Snapped them off. And these people, they were in their cars and landed on top of their cars. And they all had cell phones, were able to call 911. But, uh, yeah, it must have been scary. I mean, it shut this road down for two and a half days. There's another one right there, a broken one. Uh, fortunately, there's more than one way to get into town. Another one right there. Yeah, it shut down this whole road here. That one broke off the bottom of the bottom. It looks kind of rotten down there. They're all knocked down. Now they got these metal, giant metal poles here. We'll show you another one. Off-roading in my Honda Shadow. It's 
oh that's the ground is really really soft so you can just imagine how scary that would have been all these wires laying down on top of your car sparking you know that would have been scary the funny thing is I, I came down this road maybe 30 minutes before the storm I was going home from a ride happened and I was hauling ass to get home because I wanted to beat the rain there's another one right there and when I got home and you know jumped in the shower and got out of the shower turned the news on and the news was talking about I was like damn I was just there crazy storms hurricane force winds and there's another one right here crazy if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you're new and you like what you see or what you heard go ahead and hit that subscribe button it don't cost nothing it's free and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos i'm gonna get you